A rare peek into the production line at Zook's newly unveiled Hayward factory is to get a look into the future of driverless vehicle technology. They have about 100 technicians in the Hayward facility. Uh, and we have a test range, you know, in that area. So it's 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 really showing that the company and you know is really serious about this. Tech expert Professor that, Ahmed Benafa yeah. says this opportunity is a big deal, not just for Hayward, but for the Bay Area as a whole. It's another pioneering industry gaining ground in the Bay Area. We have the talents here. You know, that's the key thing. According to Zoops, which is headquartered in Foster City, the new Hayward facility is the first ever purpose-built robotaxi serial production facility in the United States. Once at full scale, it'll have the capacity to assemble more than 10,000 robo-taxis a year. State college as well as a, a community college, there's so many students um, that are, you know, so thirsty for opportunities like this in their own backyard. So we're, we're thrilled to um, have Zooks um, here in Hayward investing in our community. Lucy Lopez is the CEO and president of the Hayward Chamber of Commerce. She calls Zooks investment a milestone for Hayward. It brings high-skilled, high-paying jobs but may also spark new investment in Hayward's industrial corridor. In a statement to ABC7 News, Paul Wynn, Hayward's chief economic development officer, says since the departure of Gillick, which manufactured buses, the city has been looking for a catalyst to reshape the local economy. He described Zook's new facility as, quote, an indicator of the city's broader industrial transformation from a regional logistics hub to a destination for advanced manufacturing innovation and clean technology. Professor Banafa says this could be transformational for a city like Hayward, which can now go out and compete for a range of high tech and AI companies to come to Hayward. That's good for us. That's good for us here in the Bay Area because there's more jobs, uh, more manufacturing facilities and an opportunity to uh, keep leading the world in this technology. In Hayward, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.